Matt Beasler is with us here. First of all, your thought on the game tonight? You know, it's uh, it was it's frustrating to walk away with with a point with with how much of the game that we controlled. Um, you know, we, we I feel like we got some looks. We we definitely had the ball um, in and around their box. Uh, we just weren't able to get anything clean on their goal. And um, you know, I, th I think we will look to be a little bit more clinical in front of the net next game. We were talking about a sum yesterday in a World Cup year. By this time, you guys are thinking about it. You're talking about. You know, it's coming. How much is Copa America on guys' minds right now? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 an interesting tournament because it uh, it truly is once in a lifetime, and so. Nobody on the rosters have, has ever experienced the, the tournament before. It's it's not like a World Cup. It's not like qualifying. It's not like a Gold Cup. So, I mean, we're we're literally going into it having never experienced it before. So, from that aspect, uh, you know, it's it's almost a it's it's a mystery. And I think uh, from from that standpoint, it makes it extremely exciting. I know guys are really really looking forward to it, and uh, you know, I, hopefully, I get to be a part of it. Well, speaking of those guys, uh, a lot of talk. We always talk about young players. You're a grizzled old vet. You've been around. You've, you've seen players come in to the national team program. Christian Pulisic, a lot of talk about this this hype train and what he's doing. You've been watching him from afar. What have you seen? What are your thoughts uh, on uh, on possibly playing with a young player like that and, and the experience that he's going to have coming in to the environment that you know so well? Yeah, I mean, as a player, we, uh, we we've always, you know, been uh, been inviting as a group. Um, if if a player, you know, a dual citizen, whatever it may be, um, if if they come in, we welcome them to the group and, and we see what they can do. Um, you know, Darlington Nagby is a great example too. He's came into the group, he showed well, and he's uh, he's getting to play. So uh, with, with a guy like that, uh, it's I think it's important to keep expectations, um, you know reasonable for, for such a young player well, but that's um, all we do in the US yeah I know <laughs> I know but the, the kids scored two goals in the Bundesliga and so uh, that, that says something the fact that he's getting onto the field um, at Borussia Dortmund um, and, and the, the fact that he's scoring goals for them that's got to say something all right let's talk about a different type of group the actual group that you are in what are your goals right now uh, if you're looking forward to that tournament not just in, in terms of each game but it, it, what are you hoping to get out of it I think we just want to put our best foot forward um, I know that every guy in, in, in the U.S. locker room is, is confident. If we play at our best, um, we, can, we can make a lot of noise. And um, so I think that's, that's going to be the goal. Um, like I said, it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. So I think we, uh, we go in with a positive attitude. We go in um, trying to enjoy it. But, uh, You're I think, going to win Copa America, I, I, right? I think we all know that you enjoy things a lot more when you win. Are you going to win Copa America? Are we going to win? Yeah. We're going to try and win. All right.